Imagine this, you've already looked through various job boards, swept through them, hoping to find that one perfect match. You apply and keep at it, but soon enough you realize that you're not even getting called for technical rounds. You imagine that there's something wrong with your profile and that might be the case, but okay stop. It might just be your resume. Yes, your resume. Resumes play a very crucial role, especially when recruiters have to go through a spam of thousands. Yes, you got me right, thousands of resumes. In that case, yours should stand out right away. And this is exactly what we're here to talk about today in this very first chapter of Turing Converse, a brand new series by Turing.com. But before we dive into the details and have a look at what an ideal resume should look like, let's take a step back and understand how you can showcase your skill sets and talent to a recruiter. Number one, start by preparing a unique, a one of a kind resume. And number two, join a talent cloud and let them provide you the necessary assistance. But let's talk about resumes first and how you can build an amazing resume. I think all of us know that resumes are a story, a story about how you built your career. And it is very important to understand that you need to tell your story with purpose and clarity such that the recruiter can understand the bigger picture. I know this sounds like a lot, but don't worry when we are here to help you out. Here are a few common points that you must keep in mind when working on your resume. Number one, balancing the space in your resume. If your resume is too cluttery to read, the moment someone opens it, you probably have already left a bad impression. On the other hand, it shouldn't even have a lot of spaces. This is your introduction. You need to ensure that you make the job of a recruiter as easy as possible by highlighting and spacing out the relevant points. Pick out a format and design template that suits the length of the material that you have and ensure that your resume is neither too cluttery nor has a lot of spaces. Number two, always start with the most relevant information. In case of specialized jobs, it's most generally the project experience that counts. The kind of project you were a part of, what your role was, and the contribution to these projects is what needs to be added. And don't forget to conclude with the results that these projects yielded. Number three, most relevant links related to the projects that you have mentioned in your resume. If it's related to an app, provide the link to an app. If it's related to code, provide either the GitHub link or the screenshots of the code. Provide references for the recruiter to see what you did. Then comes the skill set relevant to the job you're applying to. In most cases, the skills that you showcase in projects on your resume are the ones that are considered relevant. Make sure that you highlight them very clearly. Don't bother adding anything that you only have surface knowledge of just to fill in the page. You can let the recruiter know about that once they call you in for an interview. Last but not the least, spelling and grammatical errors are a big no. In this day and age of autocorrect, if you're still making these mistakes, it just tells the recruiter that you're either not interested or you just do not care enough, which is bad. Very bad, very, very bad. Now this was what you should be doing to create an outstanding, a remarkable resume. But what about the recruiters based in the Silicon Valley who are looking to hire developers for remote jobs? What do they look for? Well, as it turns out, they aren't looking for much beyond the technical know-how. You should just be able to perform tasks and handle responsibilities. You should be proficient in the English language and you should be aligned with the working hours. Not bad, huh? But wait, remember we talked about two ways in which you can showcase your talent and your skill sets to recruiters? This is time to talk about the second way, joining a talent cloud. Or did we say Turing.com? Well, you heard this right. Turing.com is a remote talent cloud that provides developers from all over the world an opportunity to work for Silicon Valley companies remotely. All you have to do is head on to Turing.com, give tests, and voila! Once you clear the test, you will enter into a matching system where you will get access to some of the best software engine jobs in the world. And then tell you that you'll also get every possible assistance in your job search once you're in the matching system, even in building resumes. You're waiting for a catch, am I right? Well, there is none. It is really that simple. Test, matching system, job. That will be all from us today. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop us an email at support at We will be back very soon with another chapter of Turing Converse. Till then, let us know in the comments below what you liked about this video and what you would like to see next. Also, don't forget to give us a big fat thumbs up if you like this video. Take care and stay safe.